All right, so we have a construction update. Um, so I am doing them a lot less frequently. If you've noticed, it's been three days since my last one. And I'm also going to do um, the third one each week if there are three a week as like a weekly wrap up. So this is going to be a weekly wrap up. This is three days worth of construction in one video. I'm gonna edit them down to 10 minutes of footage only. And then I'll discuss everything I saw and what they're working on for this week and what I expect to see next week. So getting it started right off the bat, um, as we know, they were working on uh, getting these massive footers or footings, I should say, in place. Again, I'm learning construction terms slowly as I move on. And uh, you guys commenting down below, the proper terminology is helping greatly. So thank you for doing that. Um, and also thank you for watching. <laughs> Um, so they're getting the footings uh, in place. So what they do is they make these um, uh, kind of like uh, outer encasing with wood and then they put in an easy pour formation, um, kind of like cardboard material and then they pour cement into it um, and then they flatten it and then they uh, go on to the next one. So what you're seeing in this clip is what's called threaded. Um... Wow. <laughs> I believe it's it's threaded something. So um, this is what the support beams actually connect to. It connects the support beam to the footer. Um, and as you can see, they have them right next to the footers ready to go in. So uh, later on this footer right next to the station, the first pull out and uh, the turn, the beginning turn, um, ha it has them in already and has the uh, concrete poured in and ready to go. So that's super exciting. They're working on the massive base of the lift hill. And there is some weird activity on the lift hill. So this is the footer that I thought was for the lift hill. I was like, oh, okay, that must just be the footer for the lift hill, but it's not. So there's two of them side by side um, on the lift hill. And you're gonna see that in a little bit once they're done pouring them. They're similar to the ones in Timber Wolf. They have no ability to connect to a support beam. They have no ability to connect to um, anything steel related. And from what I understand, and uh, even talking to someone that works in construction. The, it looks, anything steel can't connect to these beams. These, uh, sorry, these footings. These footings look like what would be possibly theming, um, but I'm gonna wait for uh, someone from construction to reach out to me about what kind of footings don't, um, or what the kind of footings these could be used for on a construction project for a coaster. Um, so you're gonna see them shortly. They're gonna start pouring cement into some of these, but this is like, I, uh, this is interesting because when we I flew my drone, I didn't get to see how they built the footers up close. So right there, that uh, triangular formation is definitely the pre-lift. As we discussed in previous videos, um, B&M's new kind of like lift hills angle um, upwards and use like the actual structure of the lift as a support in itself, which leads to less support beams needed, which actually makes the coasters look more photogenic and a lot more um, beautiful. Um, and which is super um, cool for B&Ms. And I, I know a lot of other coaster companies are doing it too. I'm gonna transform or not transform. I'm gonna move on over to this other subject really quickly, the tunnel. So I was with a group of people and we all got to talking. We didn't realize that the tunnel is below ground level. Um, it's hard to see here, but the pond the tunnel is sitting in is below ground level by a decent amount. Um, the water level isn't high either, by the way, because we, we've had no rain. It's been like sunny, 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 and just pure hotness. Um, and then it's on a massive hill, the exit of the tunnel. And the tunnel goes really far down. So we were um, discussing how deep really is this tunnel from ground level. And I'm thinking, and again, this is just an approximate estimate, that it is actually 50 feet below ground level. Um, it's probably between 30 and 50 feet to be more approximate but it is a big difference. Like here's a good view of it. It's a big difference. Um, today I could tell that there was electrical work going on in the tunnel, which is cool. It, I think they do work first thing in the morning and then they close it back off from what I've been hearing. Um, and then here's the, the footer that I was talking about, the footing for a coaster that has the threaded bar um, that's ready to connect to a support. And here's them pouring this weird theming um, footing, which is, Interesting. Um, this is from yesterday. So today when I went to the park, I got a really good shot from Splashworks of the uh, the footing that you're about to see in a, in a bit after they're done forming it. And it's massive. It is probably the biggest footing on the construction site now. Um, and it looks like it might house uh, some sort of theming object or 
um, maybe some sort of structure. I have no idea. It's right where the lift hill starts. Um, so I, I, I don't know too much about coasters as you guys know and the construction progress. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I do. So feel free to comment down below and correct me or provide me with the right information. But I would assume that this could be for theming because the lift hill start is right there. It's off to the left of it. So that's the actual part where the structure of the lift hill will connect to. Um, they got the triangular piece. Um, so there you go. So that's the footing. And there's gonna be another one off to the right of it. And right in between, you can see the track. Um, there is no ability for track to connect to that um, footing. I know that I spoke to someone in construction about that. It would have the threaded bar there um, like that one does. See in there, you look up close, there's the threaded bar for a support beam to attach to. And they can't attach threaded bar to a, um, to a footing after it's dried. And it is in the process of drying, it's too late. Um, so there's just an overall shot of the station area and the transfer track area and the brake run. We know that transfer or, uh, the brake run and the station is actually going to be on its way and it may even be here next week. So that's super exciting. Um, so here's just, there's four footings that have no ability to connect to a support beam and this is their location. I wanted to show you guys. So you have two right at the start of the lift hill and I drew the station and the turn of the station and the lift hill on here. Um, and then I drew the two that are in the Timberwolf area. The Timberwolf area is going to house the MCBR, the mid course brake run, and then there's the pre-lift. So there's two options in my opinion. It could be for theming or it could be for a ladder or elevator for the MCBR and the lift hill. I don't know if it's possible to connect those things to um, a footer without um, threaded bar. Um, comment down below if it is or it isn't, but those are the only two possibilities in my opinion that it could be. Um, not much going on here. Uh, it looks like they finished off a lot of electrical in the area and we finally know what was under and can confirm that uh, what was under those orange tarps. So it was the easy pour and they're ready to go for more footers. So this is a good sign. It, it shows that, you know, more footers are gonna be poured today or Monday, whatever it ends up being, but it looks like today because they don't work on weekends. And there's the electrical area. There was a lot of electrical work going on in that back corner um, where the lift hill ends about. The lift hill ends just a little bit more north behind me. Um, kind of like right beside me, actually, to the right of me, there's the one last footer for the lift hill, the biggest one on the uh, construction site. So I'm trying to think of what I saw next on the construction site that was of, uh, just, so another close up of this weird footing I was talking about. So just showing that there's no ability to connect to a support beam. And then there's the actual structure for the lift hill right there. Um, it houses the, from what I could see on Val Raven, the elevator does connect to that as well. So that becomes even more confusing um, because that big square structure with the triangular piece in it will house both the massive um, lift hill piece and the elevator and the footers itself. Um, so very interesting to see what this ends up being for. Um, they were hard at work today. This, so this footage is from today, uh, working on more footers and getting ready for more um, concrete trucks to arrive to pour concrete into these footings. Um, so there wasn't um, anything too unique going on. So again, these construction updates are going to start to slow down a bit. Um, there'll be three a week at most, um, unless there's something big that happens. So if I see track or something interesting that I've never seen on a construction project before, I will film it and release it, obviously. Um, so just as a, a whole, this area, they did rebrick a bit of it and they laid down some sod. They moved back the construction fence and they put up this gorgeous Canadiana fencing that's going up all over the park and um, not too much. Same markings on the, the ground um, with spray paint. Same, uh, sorry for our appearance, we're preparing for your future. Um, I did speak to someone in the you know marketing communications department and they said that they can't tell me when the teasing campaign is going to start because that will ruin all the fun. Um, and the surprise, which I knew I was gonna get that answer, but I had to ask anyways. Um, but they did say they do watch my videos, so that's super exciting. Um, and they made a joke that I know more than they do. I know that was just a joke. Um, but it was really fun and funny and uh, yeah, not much going on over here today. No, no difference over in this area. Um, just the, um, I think I get a good uh, shot of some of the, yeah. So there's one of the footers I was, footings I was talking about that have no ability to connect to a support beam and are either for an elevator slash ladder or um, we call it, um, or theming. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the construction. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one. Bye.